If you have a weak Wi-Fi signal in certain areas of your home, then I have the easiest solution to strengthen that Wi-Fi signal. And no, it doesn't require changing any router settings or buying some gimmicky hardware adapter or even downloading software. If you're fortunate enough to have one of these network panels in your home, then congratulations. They're pretty awesome. And they're pretty convenient when it comes to holding all of your home networking hardware. For instance, like switches, smart hubs, modems, ONTs, coax cables, fiber cables, ethernet cables, backup power, and yes, wireless routers. But there is a big, big problem with this setup. It's the wireless router. You see, these network enclosures recommend you place your wireless router inside them behind this panel door. Behind a door. <laughs> what? And if your home does not have a wireless access point installed in the ceiling, then this location will not work. And there are two obvious problems with this setup. First, placing a wireless router behind any type of door blocks the wireless signals from the router. And that's a huge no-no, especially for the 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz bands. These two bands struggle to go through doors, walls, and other structures. The second problem is the location of these home network enclosures. Home builders typically install these enclosures in closets, laundry rooms, or garages. And these locations are not optimal for most wireless routers. Wireless routers need wide open spaces for the wireless signals to work efficiently. So how do we fix this problem? We must move the wireless router to the center of the home, or at least in a wide open area. It cannot be located in this network enclosure. But there is another problem. These network enclosures contain the ISP gateway, which is usually the coax modem or fiber ONT. So how do we connect the wireless router to the ISP gateway from a different room in the house? And how do we connect our entire network back to the wireless router that's in a different room back to the network enclosure? Well, here's the solution. In order to move this to a different room in the house, you have to move this to a room that has two ethernet cables. Let me explain why. First of all, you'll need an ethernet cable to plug into the WAN port, but you're also gonna need an ethernet cable to plug into the LAN port to bring it back to the network panel here. Luckily, all of my rooms in my house have two ethernet cable drops. If you follow my channel, then you know that I always recommend whenever you do a wire drop, you wanna drop at least two or three ethernet cables at a minimum. So one ethernet cable is the WAN port that goes back to the network panel and connects to our ISP gateway, which is our fiber ONT. The other ethernet cable is our LAN connection that goes back to the network panel and connects to the switch which gives us network connectivity. And make sure to check out this video on how to wire drop two Cat6 cables at the same time. It's easy. So first, turn off the router and unplug the power cable and ethernet cables. And now we'll go to the game room and plug everything back in. And here's the new location for our wireless router. This location is perfect because it's in the center of our home in a wide open area. All we have to do is place the wireless router on this shelf Plug in the power cable, turn it on, and connect the WAN port from the router to the wall port. Now go back to the network panel and plug in the cable from that port to your ISP gateway. You're now connected to the internet. Next, connect the LAN port from the router to the LAN port on the wall. And back in the network panel, connect the LAN port to the switch. And it's also labeled media room. This connects our entire network. And by the way, if you don't have a network panel, this technique still works. Wherever your ISP is installed in your home, all you need is two ethernet cables that run to the new location for the router. One cable is the WAN port and the other one is the LAN port. Once you have everything plugged back in, you'll need to wait about three or four minutes for your wireless router to connect to the ISP gateway and also to connect to your network. If for some reason you do not have access to the internet, be patient and wait three to four minutes. It should come back up no problem. And just something to be aware of, when I changed my router location, it changed my default network IP address. It changed to 192.168.11.1. So I simply logged back in using that IP address and then changed it back to 192.168.1.1. And now with the new router location, my Wi-Fi signal is perfect throughout the house strong and stable, no issues. This is by far the best and easiest way to improve your Wi-Fi signal. It's all about the location. 
And guys, remember, like, share, subscribe, comment, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.